Hi, my name is Leon Rowe, currency trader and trading coach at trading180.com. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about if the dollar yen is a buy, right? So technically, we've come down to a very nice level of demand, right? And we've got some um, some confluence in this area, some horizontal uh, support as well. Now, is it a buy right now? Now, this is the question you have to ask yourself. From a technical perspective, you can just take that trade and uh, look for obviously an entry on a lower time frame. Yeah, or you can do a bit more analysis on, um, you know, what I guess why you want to be buying this uh, this 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 currency pair. So what we're looking at is we're buying. We want to be buyers of the dollar, right, and sellers of the Japanese yen. Yes, we know that. You know, prices have been, you know, trending down for a little bit. But why have prices been, you know, especially this gap down and, and dropping, right? Well, first things first, you've got uh, risk sentiment in play. Yeah, so you've got risk off and risk on uh, market sentiment. And at the moment, risk off is in play. So risk off basically means when there's a lot of uncertainty in the market, um, then money flows into safe haven assets like gold um, and in the currency markets, um, it would be the Japanese yen and the Swiss franc seen as safe haven currencies and you can see um, I'll leave this uh, link in the description box below it's the Guardian website um, great blog um, uh, daily blog and it gives you pretty much the headlines trade wars markets realist China exports fall and there's some other stuff going on as well European stock markets fall China trade loss surface narrowed Asian stock markets in the red state media China can handle trade war US stock markets suffered biggest fall since January last night you've got some um, bullet points here um, you know markets roiled by trade war and you know basically a shrinking global potential global market as China are the world's you know biggest trade partner right and the bigger and, and the uh, um, the world's global engine kind of thing so we're in a risk off environment at the moment yeah so again money's piling into safe haven assets but one of the things you have to also consider is value right so many traders chase price yeah not really knowing what they're buying so price isn't always uh, reflected in value and value isn't always reflected in price yeah so we know that the dollar is the current currency to buy why and before i get to that i just want to go to um an article and it talks about the six must see quotes from Amazon's Jeff Bezos and one of the and he's you know one of the richest guys in the world if not the richest man in the world uh, known anyway um, and one of the uh, uh, I want to read this here which is, is really really um, a great point when talking about price and value and distinguishing the two yeah so from here it says almost 20 years ago Bezos was not freaking out during the dot-com meltdown even though the stock had gone from over 100 Per dollars per share to just six in less than a year he saw things differently yeah the stock is not the company and the company is not the stock and so as I watched the stock fall from $113 to $6 I was also watching all of our internal business metrics numbers of customers profit per unit every single thing about the business was getting better and so while the stock price was going the wrong way, everything inside the company was going the right way. Yeah. And uh, I'll read this, this little bit as well and I'll refer it back to the dollar yen. So there are valuable lessons galore for investors in these three quotes, especially this last one. Most importantly, when you invest in a company or for example, if you're trading, make sure you write down your reasons for doing so. So you, you know your trading plan and what you need, what would need to happen to make you sell. Right? Be sure these reasons have nothing to do with a stock's price or with the stock's price, and everything to do with the performance of the underlying business. Yeah. So you're not looking at price. Do not chase price. You're chasing what value. Yeah, you're chasing the performance of the underlying business, and by doing so, you steal yourself against short term stock market movements or market movements while redirecting your attention to the long term arc of the company you're investing in. So, relating this to Forex and back to the dollar yen, 
what are the dollars underlying assets and what's that say you know performance of the uh, of, of the dollar compared to the Japanese yen yeah and why is it that we want to be buyers of the dollar over the yen now going to this website called trading economics and if we look at the fundamentals first of all we're going to look at um, the US dollar United States dollar economic indicators and you can get that by basically going to indicators countries and clicking on US dollar or US um, United States and then doing the same thing for the Japanese yen and by all measures what gives a country and this kind of currency its value is how well the country is doing as well as interest rates and inflation right so by every measure you can look at the dollar and look at the GDP growth rate 3.2 unemployment rate inflation rate 1.9 and inflation the target is supposed to be all central banks want at least a two percent target right and interest rates are at 2.5 so the, to, to the, the higher the interest rate you know without getting too far away from inflation as far as the two percent target the better interest rates is a return on you know your investment if i'm betting on the dollar or i'm, I'm going to invest in the dollar then i should be expecting a 2.5 percent interest rate now let's compare that with the japanese yen japanese yen 0.5 growth rate compared to the United States dollar of 3.2 and then we go down um, you know unemployment is cool but inflation rate 0.5 so it's furthest away from their 2% target whereas inflation rate is at 2% well and near enough and then the interest rate is minus 0.1 whereas the uh, the dollar is 2.5 by pretty much nearly all measures the dollar is way ahead economically and monetary policy wise um, when it comes to value over the Japanese yen, right? So if we go back to the chart, yes, prices might be falling due to risk sentiment and risk off sentiment, but when risk comes back on and risk on meaning that all is well in the world, right, and investors uh, uh, have got some risk appetite they want to put some more money on the table for higher returns and higher yields yeah this is going to look like an absolute bargain now what I'm saying is is that I'm not saying go to your broker and start buying the dollar yen now right because risk sentiment is still off but understand that charts are for timing yes we look at you know the price chart and we look at demand zones and we look where you know past value was proof of value you know not rally based drop drop based rally imbalances in supply and demand that's a different concept i'm looking for proof of value yeah this is proven in the past yeah in march proof of value prices went high so when prices come down here again this is where we're looking for proof again now Will this work? Will this not work? This is just a game of probabilities. We manage our risk and we go for more than that. But right now, the dollar is valuable. We just need now the market and the risk on sentiment to come into the market for Donald Trump and China to, you know, um, hug and hold hands and, and agree on a negotiation right and and have an agreement right. And once that kicks in, if that does kick in. Maybe next week, maybe next month, who knows, right? But if that does happen, the dollar, yeah, as long as the fundamentals stay the same, yeah, the dollar is, continues to be, you know, the strongest currency out of the um, eight major currencies, the dollar is looking like a great buy. Not, maybe not now, or maybe not this week, or maybe not even maybe into next week, depending on obviously risk sentiment. But overall, the dollar is a potential buy. This is not obviously financial advice. But this is the level of analysis yeah, that you will get if you um, you know, uh, study the free fundamental analysis course in the description box below, right? You can you know, ask me, email me, um, after, after you watch that, email me anything and I'll try and get back to you ASAP. But I um, hope this makes sense. Um, we don't chase price, we chase value, yeah? And potential value is on the side of the dollar and if that doesn't work out then we'll just be buyers down here this is the discount prices so um yeah please like subscribe share and um 
I will get back to you if you leave a comment as soon as possible. Have a great trading week and take care.